This building was empty. It was the headquarter of the Holland America line. And uh, nobody knew what to do with this pier and with this building. And then there was a businessman who uh, bought this house and started here a hotel and restaurant. And everybody said to this businessman, you are crazy because it's a dead point. There is nothing to do. There is no bus, no metro, underground, nothing. Now it's named Hotel New York. And it's all, all the time crowded, especially in the afternoon. You can't get a seat because, and you have to make a reservation for a cup of coffee. Goedemorgen. Je gaat naar Amerika. Sorry? Je gaat naar Amerika. Oh ja? Ja, want well, now we are in front of a new bridge that connect one pier to the other and his name officially is Rijnbrug, but we call it all the Hoerenloper. And that means that uh, the hookers were working on the other pier and now you can walk to the hookers over this bridge and you don't have to go all around to get the hookers over there. <laughs> opinion in general is that people has to be humble and be so there is no big door no big entrance uh, you have to bend your head before you go into the church or into a theater and it's not like in France and Italy where you have magnificent uh, entrances you have to, to walk around the, this building to find out where you can enter. It's and, crazy. And how do you feel about that? Very sorry, because I want to enter a building like a prince. And you can't here. You have to bend your head. <laughs> and down and put it to the floor and you can put your bike on it and here is a nickel that tells how much places are free and you put your bike back ready this is a ripple on the street for blind people with their stick. They can follow the road into the direction of the underground. And we have them all over in the city for people who are not able to look very well. The name of this beautiful building is Jan met de pet and in English it means Jan with the cap. The cap is the conference room on top of this building. The architect is Ad Tuns and he knew exactly how he could change something simple into uh, uh, a marvelous uh, uh, design uh, with very small details and they are all perfect together. It makes this building for me a great uh, building in Rotterdam.
the cap is not completely straight but just turned a little bit uh, out of the basis and the front of the building has very small details as well so it's not completely straight but it's nice because it's not ordinary it's not too much he knows where to stop <laughs> the Dutch people buy their patat friet with mayonnaise in a lot and they buy it here and they walk over with their bag to this place and they put, they put the bag here and in the afternoon it's all the time crowded with people eating patat friet with mayonnaise from Bram Ladage. This is the Van Nelle Fabriek, a very famous monument in Holland. Uh, it's built in 1926 and 1930. And the idea of the um, architect was that the working class needed light as well on their uh, hands when they were working. And therefore it's all glass and very spectacular at that time. Uh, because no one in the world had made such a fabric any time before. The wall behind us is very simple, nothing on it, and just doing his job in this whole arrangement. And often people want to put something like a, a, a painting on the wall, but this wall is very important for the whole surrounding. These are the famous uh, uh, um, tree houses from the architect Peter Blom. And I was involved at that moment uh, via the city government to make a decision about this project, yes or no. And almost everybody was against it, because how can you live in such a crazy house? But people, I was working for the government, for an elder man, and he was receiving the architect, and he brought his wife with him. And she was very strong, blonde, big tits, and the elder man was crazy with her. So he said yes to the plan. And now we have this here, thanks to the woman of the architect. The big tits. With the big tits. <laughs> mm -hmm. 